All right, so we are now on lesson 6-2. We already did the guided practice, so we're going to focus on our independent practice. So we have Connor has 77 magazines. That is seven times as many magazines as Kristen has. How many magazines N does Kristen have? Well, N's our mystery number, so that's what we're looking for. That's our variable. So we know this is a times as many problem because it says she has times as many. As. Now, the problem is, is this is our equation. We have 7 times n equals 77. So we have to do the inverse. So we have to flip it. So we need to figure out what 77 divided by 7 is. So we're filling that blank in right there. And we know 77 divided by 7 is 11. Because 7 goes into 7 one time, and 7 goes into 7 another one time with no leftovers. Heading to number four, Eric completed 75 math problems. That is five times as many math problems as Katie completed. How many math problems M did Katie complete? Well, we know that this again is a times problem. 75 is five times as many as M. So what that means is we have this mystery number M and that five times as many means that there would be five boxes. And all together, those five boxes of that mystery number would equal 75. So again, this is saying 75 is five times as many as m. So I need to do the inverse. So that means I'm going to do the opposite. So I have 75 divided by five equals m. And m, if I look at my math up here, 75 divided by five, I divide, 5 goes into 7 one time, multiply, 5 times 1 is 5, subtract, 7 minus 5 is 2, check, 2 is less than 5, bring down, 5 goes into 25, 5 times, multiply, 5 times 5 is 25, subtract, check, 0 is less than 5, bring down, there's nothing to bring down, so m is equal to 15. Heading off to number 5. Claire counted 117 different colors at the paint store. That is nine times as many as the number James counted. How many different color C did James count? Well, again, this is nine times as many as C. So again, I have that mystery letter C, and it's telling me there are nine boxes of it. One, two, three, six, seven. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And it's telling me all together that's 117. So I have 117 divided by 9 equals that mystery C. So what is that? Well, I have 117 divided by 9. 9 goes into 11 one time. 1 times 9 is 9. Subtract. Check. 2 is less than 9, so I can bring down. 9 goes into 27 three times. Multiply 9 times 3 is 27. Subtract. Check. 0 is less than 9. There's nothing to bring down. There's no remainder, so my answer is 13. Elisa has 153 dominoes. That is 3 times as many dominoes as Stan has. So again, we have this problem. 153 is 3 times as many as D. And that's telling me that this mystery D is what Stan has. And Alicia has three times as many. So that means she would have three boxes, that three times. Altogether, that's 153. So I need to do 153 divided by 3. So I have 153 divided by 3. 3 goes into 15 five times. 5 times 3 is 15. Subtract. Check, 0 is less than 3, so I can bring down 3 goes into 3 one time. Multiply 1 times 3 is 3. Subtract, 0 is less than 3, there's nothing to bring down, so my answer is 51. Our next one, Justin practiced the piano for H hours. So here is Justin's H hour. His sister practiced for 12 hours, which is 3 times as many. So that means there's 3 boxes. And it says she practiced for 12 hours. So that's going to be my total of 12. 
Write and solve an equation to find out how many hours Justin practiced. Well, I know I'm going to follow this format that I've been doing for the other practice problems if I'm completely stuck. But I know 12 is equal to 3 times h. And I got that from this equation. So now, what does h equal? Well, I know that 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So h is 12 hours. Number 8, Mary practiced violin for 2 hours. So I'm going to show this as 2 hours and Mary. And her brother practiced the trombone for t times as long, or 8 hours. So that means her brother needs to have 8 hours. So that would be 2, 4, 6, 8. So what do we have here? Well, that's 8 hours. And I see that's 4 groups. 1, 2, 3, 4. So t times as long, that would be 4 times as long. So my equation is 2 times t equals 8, because I'm looking for that mystery times as many. So I know t is equal to 4 times as long. Let's head to our next problem, which is on the back page. So now we have Dave is making soup that includes 12 cups of water and 3 cups of broth. How many times as much water as broth will be in the soup? Draw a bar diagram and write and solve an equation. Well, we have 3 cups of broth and he needs 12 cups. So I'm looking for how many times. So that bar diagram is I start out with 3 and what number do I need to get it to? Well, I need to get it to 12. So that would be 3, 6, 9, 12. So that would be four times. However, I've only done this part, and it says I also need to write and solve an equation. So my equation would be 12, because that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that 12 cups is equal to a mystery number. So I'm going to use C for cups times 3. And that 3, remember, is because it's 3 cups of broth. And then I know 4 times 3 is equal to 12, so I would need 4. Heading off to number 10. Trevor wants to buy three light fixtures that cost $168 each. He has $500. Does he have enough money to buy the three light fixtures? Use a comparison sentence to explain your reasoning. Well, first, let's see how much that would cost. So I would have 168, and I would have three groups of them because it says he needs to buy three of them. So I see that's multiplication, so I have 168 times three. Three times four is 24, regroup. Three times eight is 16, plus that two is 20. Regroup that two from 20. Three times one is three, plus two is five. So he would need $504. So I'm going to say no three times as many as 168 is 504. He would be $4 short. Number 11. Miranda has four times as many leaves in her collection as Joy. Joy has 13 more leaves than Armani. Armani has 10 leaves in his collection. How many leaves does Miranda have in her collection? Well, here I have three things going on. I have Armani, I have Joy, and I have Miranda. So Miranda has four times as many leaves as Joy. So that means Miranda is going to have four boxes. I don't know what they are yet because I have to figure out what Joy's box is. Joy has 13 more leaves than Armani. So she's going to have Armani's plus 13. So Armani has 10 leaves in his collection. So now I have enough. I know Armani's is 10, so Joy's becomes 10 plus 13. So Joy has $23, I'm sorry, 23 leaves. So that means each of these boxes is 23. So I'm going to do 23 times four groups because there's four groups of 23. 4 times 3 is 2, regroup. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So Miranda has 92 leaves, Joy has 23. Let's head to our number 12 problem. 
Jordan needs $9,240 for first year college tuition. Each of her two grandfathers said they would match what she saves. So match means they will give whatever she saves. So she saves $10, then another grandpa will give her 10, and the other would give her 10. So she'd have 30 total. She has eight years before she goes to college. How much does Jordan need to save on her own each year to have enough for her first year with the help from her two grandfathers? Well, what I have here is I have this 9,240, and it's been broken up into three groups. How I know that is one group is her savings, one is her grandfather's, and the other is her second grandfather. They're all going to be paying the same amount. Well, I know three goes into nine three times. Three goes into two zero times. Three goes into 24 eight times. And three goes into zero zero times. So she will need to save $3,080. However, there's some more information in this problem that we need. You'll notice that it also says that she has eight years. So it's asking us to break this up into eight years. So how do I break things up into eight years? Well, if you remember, I'm going from a large number to small equal groups. So that's going to be division. So I have 3,080 divided by eight. 3 goes into 30 3 times, multiply and get 24, subtract and get 6. 8 goes into 68 8 times, multiply and get 64, subtract and bring down and get 40. 8 goes into 40 5 times, multiply, subtract, and get 0. So each year, for those 8 years, she'll need to save $385. If she does, then she will have at the end that 3080 and her two grandfathers will also match that 3,080. For number 13, Tina walked 20 miles for a fundraiser. Lisa walked M miles. Tina walked four times as far as Lisa. So we have Tina and we have Lisa. I'm sorry, not Lisa, Leah. Leah walked M miles. Tina walked four times as far. So Tina is going to have four groups because she walked further than Leah. So, and all together we know that she walked 20 from our problem. So what equation is this? Well, I know 20 is equal to what? It's equal to four groups of M, which is B. For number 14, Jason Roll kept a reading log for the year. Jason read seven books, so I'm going to show Jason as seven, and Roll read 35. So that would be Oops, I'm getting ahead of myself. How many times books did Jason, how many times as many books did Jason read? How many times, that's a hard sentence for me for some reason. How many times as many books as Jason did Raul read? Well, we know Raul is at 35. So we're breaking up into groups of seven. So that would be seven, 14, 21, 28, 35. So it is three, I'm sorry, it is five times as many.